Yeah, preparation has been good. The lads have trained very well the whole week and uh, I love to work with them. They're very uh, energetic and uh, they all want to play, everybody. Now we have a lot of players coming back from injury. So I remember a few weeks ago we had only 17 players. Now we have almost 24, which is fantastic. It makes it harder for me, but I don't mind. These are all positive uh, things that are happening for the team. So I always believe that if they train well during the week and they take their training into the matches, we should be OK because uh, you watch them and during the week who is training OK, who's not. And they've been fantastic all week. So I told them in there that they've got a great opportunity to make their season, to rectify their season by winning today because they, we did not start great of the season. We lost a few unnecessary games, but they're catching up slowly. And uh, with a win today, that would set them up nicely to uh, to be in contention for the top uh, four one finish. He's uh, one of the players where it's been really hard because when I came in, I felt that he was not uh, being guided enough and he's not been played to his, uh, his quality, to his strength. His strengths are, he's got pace, he's very quick, he, he can score goals and he's tricky. He can beat players because of his speed and his size. So I thought we should we should use that and utilize that, We've, which he's done really well in the game against Barak, where he grabbed his goal. I was really pleased with him. And he's one of the reasons why, you know, people always ask me, why is Prince Tego not in the squad? I said, well, because it's simple, the other players they are, you know, they are further ahead. They have much fitness, and and Prince is training hard to get to where the other players are. And his one was fantastic last week. He did very well, and I hope, uh, which I'm I'm quite positive about, that he will have the same attitude and same energy as he had against Perak. <laughs>